It's a hot day. You turn on the AC and within minutes the air is cool. But what just happened? That he didn't vanish. It was just relocated outside. Now imagine that process playing out in every apartment on your street, every car stuck in traffic, every office building, gym, hospital, airport. Each machine individually is harmless, but collectively they create a feedback loop that makes the world hotter, not cooler. Air conditioning wasn't always necessary, but in post-war America, corporations didn't just sell machines, they sold lifestyles. One TV ad told Americans to live better electrically. Suddenly, being cool wasn't just about temperature. It was about status, success, and modern life. AC units weren't just for heat waves. They became fixtures in homes, malls, and cars. Comfort was marketed as a right. And like any good capitalist idea, it spread. In the 80s and 90s, cities like Hong Kong followed the same formula. And today, 90% of homes in Hong Kong have air conditioning. In urban areas, when millions of ACs run at once, they start to dump a massive amount of heat outdoors, artificially raising their temperatures in cities, a phenomenon known as the urban heat island effect. It's been measured in cities like Tokyo, Paris, and Hong Kong. Temperatures in the city center can be up to 7 degrees Celsius hotter than in nearby rural areas. The hotter the city gets, the more people use AC. And the more ACs run, the hotter the city becomes. Running AC takes power. A lot of it. In the US, about 12% of household electricity goes to air conditioning. In tropical cities like Singapore and Hong Kong, that number can jump to 30-40%. to 40%. Where does that power come from? Burning fossil fuels. So when you use your AC, you are indirectly adding CO2 to the atmosphere. Even if your home doesn't burn anything, the power plant supplying you probably is. Here's where it gets worse. ACs rely on chemical refrigerants, most commonly hydrofluorocarbons. These substances are sealed inside the units and are responsible for absorbing and releasing heat. They are potent greenhouse gases. Some have a global warming potential thousands of times higher than CO2. According to UNEP, if left unchecked, HFC emissions alone could raise global temperatures by up to half a degree Celsius by 2100. As countries develop economically, ACs become the new baseline. In places like India, Indonesia, Nigeria, usage is set to explode by 2050. Walk down a Hong Kong street in summer and every building is dripping with AC units. Literally, water condenses and drips from every window. The cold truth is, we are melting the planet to stay cold.